125 Mount Pleasant. Check out the Buck Island view from this place. Direct, live and direct. Right there. And of course, you're looking off the valley over by Cheeseburgers and Paradise. Uh, that's the Green Key Salt Pond there, Nature Preserve. Tons of patio space here, adjacent to Estate Shoys. That house actually on the other side of the fence line there is Estate Shoys. But here you are in Mount Pleasant, you have the same luxury, same quality, without the HOA fees. Yeah. Each bedroom has its own private patio, which we'll see in a minute. And you do have a legit infinity edge pool there. Nice arches with keystones. And a big covered gallery off the pool so you can hang out in the sun or chill out in the shade. Either way, you got it made. Yeah. Check out that gallery. Nice and comfortable and long. All right, let's go inside. We'll check out the, in the interior of this beauty. Okay, we're entering the main house right off of the pool patio through the double French doors, which are impact glass, like every door and window in this house. So you have no hurricane shutters to worry about here, people. She's ready to roll. Just close the door and latch it and you're good to go. Check out the size of that kitchen island. Unbelievable. All central air, tray ceilings, gorgeous chandelier over the island. I gotta think that's probably six by eight feet in, in size. All professional appliances, you got your Sub-Zero uh, controlled by Nest. So you wanna change your temperature, you can do it from your phone or from any smart device connected to the Wi-Fi. If you're not familiar with Nest thermostats, Google them, they're really cool. But a beautiful kitchen, garbage disposal, Wolf oven, stove top, micro. You got your dishwasher, double sink, granite countertops. I mean, this is top of the line. Water or uh, wine, turn water into wine. Cooler there and lots of sitting area. You got a sitting spot here, big couch. And then check out this piece of art. Behind that piece of art is a television, a flat screen TV. And there's an iPad or any smart device that you connect to it will control that. That piece of art will roll up and out of the way, exposing a television and it's a beautiful way to conceal a television. Some people don't like to see their TVs in the living room when they're not in use. And then in addition to that, on either side is the stereo speakers. They're built into this fabric wall. You can see those fabric panels hide the stereo. So you've got your two subwoofers, one down underneath the wooden built in, mid range and tweeters built into that. The stereo system in here is crazy. I'll show you the back side of this wall in a minute. But before I do, let's head over to the guest wing, which is located on the north side of the house, opposite the front door. All right, as you head down towards the guest wing, obviously you can see here's the front door. This is how you would normally enter the property. If you were coming home, you park right here. Two car garages down below underneath on the north side. And then you would enter through this beautiful entry foyer where you're greeted by this custom furniture with a mirror, beautiful, soaring skylight, and a nice intersection here where everything kind of comes together. You've got your living room, great room, meeting the garage entrance, meeting a guest bedroom, and the other guest bedroom wing and media room. Let's shoot off to this first one here. This will be guest bedroom number one. King size bed with built-in custom paneling. Very modern, very sleek. Very high quality, high quality blinds. Again, impact glass doors, private patio. Each of the bedrooms here has a private patio. Each of the guest bedrooms, I should say, has a private patio off of it. So if you were doing vacation rentals, it would be a great setup because everybody's more or less equal. No one's gonna be fighting over the bedrooms. They're each equally appointed in terms of quality and style. Travertine tile. Glass doors, all meticulously maintained. You'll see each bedroom has its own patio as we go further down. 
Now, that's guest bedroom number one. Let's go see the rest. Just walked down these steps from guest bedroom number one. Now we're gonna continue down the hall. And on our right is your powder room half bath, perfectly situated near the entrance and the uh, entertaining area. Directly opposite is laundry room. Got a utility sink, some cabinetry, nice uh, vented window there. Then your main electrical panel and your alarm system controls. Further down, guest bedroom number two. To the right is a linen closet. And here we have a queen bed four poster. Same beautiful tray ceilings, central air. I know I sound like a repeating myself, but I got to. And here is your private patio looking out over the pool, out to Buck Island, perfect spot to chill. So vacation renters are gonna love this because they can have their own little coffee spot. And families are gonna like it because the kids each have their own patio too. Great setup. Showers off in the corner here. And then guest bedroom number three is here on the northwest corner of the property. As you can see, it's also professionally decorated, all top of the line furnishings, drapes and blinds, closet to the right, and private patio. Got a little thrush bird out here. What do you want, mister? He's looking for some, some food. And this one, this would be a great spot for a playground actually, or additional patio space. If you want to have another bigger patio, you could do that there, but ensuite bath again. And something, this one actually has a tub. And something that's really cool I noticed the other day was this light fixture here is actually a vent fan. Watch when I turn it on. If you listen closely, you can hear the fan wind up. So instead of having a you know typical square vented uh, panel there, the light fixture actually conceals it. Pretty tricky. Okay, so that's guest bedroom and bath number three, off to the media room. Okay, heading back down the hall towards the media room. Here's the coolest piece of art I've seen in a while. Reminds me of just hanging out at Buck Island. Look at that beach. And you could do that too if you had a boat and you can go out to Bug Island every day. Here's another one of the Nest uh, controllers. And then as a point of reference, the half bath was here, laundry room here, and just to the right is the media room, which would actually double beautifully as an office. Oh, and there's Steffi. Hey, Steffer. Hi, Chris. What movie are you watching? Oh, I'm working, Chris. Oh, she's working. But you could see this could easily be converted into a um, office workspace. Got a view looking south, and then a view looking north out over State Shoys. So a great room for multi-purposes. Uh, great place to put the kids with the Xbox, Nintendo, whatever it is, and they can make all the noise they want, close the door, and you can be down here in the living room having a more relaxed life. Okay, that's the main area and the guest area. Let's shoot over to that side, which is the east side, and check out the master bedroom. Just past the dining table here, you enter the master suite. You got a beautiful workspace here to the left, perfect for your morning coffee, catch up on the emails, have a gorgeous view out over the pool. And then of course, opposite is the walk-in closet. This is the part I was mentioning is behind the living room entertainment system. So this rack has all of the equipment, stereo equipment, TV controllers, etc., that are on a mounted mounted on this rack, which wheels out, so you can get to all the connections and to all the different um, piece, bits and pieces that you might need to either modify it, upgrade it, whatever. The speakers that I talked about are built into this wall. There's a subwoofer down there and a subwoofer down there, and then. All the speakers are out of sight, so it's a super high-tech um, media room, media center, I guess you could call it. And then, of course, here we are into the master bedroom. Brand new cassette-style Mitsubishi AC unit. 
ginormous master suite, big enough for a couch. And it has a door out to the patio, out to the pool direct, which is nice. And then, as you'll see here, in this console is a television that comes up and down with a remote control. Very nice, so that's out of the way when you don't want to watch TV. And then we go into the bathroom. Jacuzzi tub, shower, double vanity, double mirror, really nice bathroom, nice and spacious. And then your water closet's tucked off in the corner all by itself for complete privacy. So you can do your thing and nobody knows. So that's 125 Mount Pleasant. Great house, super high quality, right next to State Shoys. So you get all the benefits of a great location without the high fees. So if you wanna check it out, just give us a buzz. We'll set up an appointment and get you in here. And maybe you will even uh, raise the TV screen for you. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.